What's going on guys? It's Michael Gascon, the Horse Guru, and boy do I have some magic for you. If you are a gated enthusiast, if you have a gated horse of any kind and you're trying to get them more collected, shoot, if you have any horse of any kind that you're trying to get collected, do I have some magic for you? Do you know what this is? You probably don't. This is a breeching. So a breeching, mostly you see them on cart and carriage horses and it's what stops the carriage from running into them. Also, if you've seen pack mules or mountain mules, they carry this a lot. Through the history of the Paso Fino in Colombia, when they started noticing that their pack mules that go up and down the mountain have a breast collar in the front and this breeching on the back to keep the load in the middle, they started noticing that their mules were more collected than their horses. Oh my gosh, how could it be? A mule more collected than our horses? They started using the same breeching on their horse and it started making their horse more collected. So we are working with this young three-year-old Pasofino filly, and we are just getting to the place where we're working on gate only. She already does obstacles, already does all the things, been through the respect series, but now we're trying to get her to carry herself a certain way. So I'm gonna take this breeching, it's a three-point breeching. You can find it at any local Amish shop, cart shop, carriage shop. This I'm gonna hook to the back first, always, always. We're hooking to, there's a ring in the back of my saddle, and I'm gonna hook this right to that like so that way no matter what she does if it's the first time you put it on a horse and they get a little funky she can't do anything wrong to get herself in a bind I have seen people on a young horse have it hooked to the girth on both sides and undo the center and then it comes down and hangs back behind her legs don't do that okay now these side straps they're gonna come over here and they are gonna hook to our girth like so we'll do that on both sides And whenever I'm setting this up, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for for this young lady is for this to sit center. She has a dorsal stripe, so it's awesome. Allows me to center it up real nicely. And what I'm looking for is when I put my hand on the farthest part of her butt here, I want the breaching to be at least a hand below. So you see the roundest part of her butt here. I put my hand there, a hand's reach below. That's where my breaching is. I don't want it so low that it feels like it's inhibiting her movement and I don't want it so high that it slides off. That's the carriage driver in me. The next thing, when I start putting this on the horse and fitting it to her, in this particular scenario, this is not to stop a carriage, this is to get her gating better and get her back in under her. I wanna be able to tighten it up and I'm never going to tighten it tighter than the furthest part of her butt. So it's gonna be a little under the furthest the largest part of her butt, but I never want it under that. I want it to feel about flush, flat, with the farthest part of her butt. What's that gonna do? Ladies, I know right now, I see you in the honky tonk. I've been to one or two in my lifetime, and you come in there, you got a pencil skirt on, and when you walk in there, you walk just like this. And all the men are like, woo! That pencil skirt got you collected. That pencil skirt put your feet right up underneath you. That's exactly what we're trying to do with this filly. Now you can do it the dressage style and spend seven or eight years of pulling on their face and pushing on their, on their body, looking to make the accordion effect. And over time, that absolutely will happen. But what we found out with the Pasofinos and any, any gated horse, if you see the bullfighting horses in Spain, they're very collected. All of them wear the armor so they don't get gouged whenever they're young, keeps their butt under them. So by this horse wearing the breeching or the pencil skirt, if you will, Whenever she moves, whenever she strides out, if she gets too strung out, she feels that touching her butt. So it doesn't harm her in any way. If anything, it desensitizes her um, and makes her ready for a mountainside ride. A lot of mountain mule riders use this on their mules and people who work, work and live in the Grand Canyon and the Appalachian Trail and trails that are straight up, straight down, they will put this on their animals to keep their saddle and their pack centered. But also a byproduct of that is it can really help collection. It can really make that horse want to put his butt under. On a young impressionable horse like this little three-year-old Paso who has little time under saddle, she's so impressionable that if we ride her for a month with it, that's how she's going to want to carry herself all the time. Like she's a finished show horse and have her butt under her. So it desensitizes the horse, keeps your saddle in place. And not only that, it's going to help with your gait because it's going to get their butt under them. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's called a breaching and it works great on gated horses. Thank you.